So, I continue. Hello, kitty. Again, I'm not really sure if you can hear the kitty below, but oh well. So, I know at this point, I'm sort of worried about my character here. I got a sore throat, which basically means that I've con um, contracted glot rot. That'll be something I have to sort of deal with at some point. Once I actually take a few steps basically out um, around the wilderness, I should actually contract it for sure, so... We'll have to make our way back to um, Keki over here, for example, so I can basically deal with that. And I'm just going to immediately go here, I'm not going to worry about the fact that there might be stuff on the way, because... You know, that sore throat is going to metabolize soon, and it'll suck. We can explore around. There's the albino mare. Ah, that's it for here. Put the water there, because why not? Ah, yes, for an index. Remember him? Guy yeah, killed my first character. Make haste, traveler. I'm gonna search for work. Rah! There's one but one task I know to offer. It is most treacherous, and in all likelihood you will perish. Is that is your interest plane? No, continue. There's a river just north of the village that runs an eastward course into the jungle, along its banks lie Gopho village. There resides a mighty Shan, Maman Soul Drinker. He is in possession of a talisman of great power, and our refined prison that refracts the psyche of its handler in much the same way. As Mayor Nuntu has explained to me, a common prison refracts light. The thing is cursed, Traveler. No man or goat may safely wield it for long. You must travel to the village and retreat a prison from Mammon for by any means necessary. Do you understand? Why not retreat yourself? Because, Traveler, Mammon is my elder brother. You would discern my presence before I could strike. Is there anything else I should know? There is. Firstly, Mammon will likely have several goat folk under his enthrallment, and they will protect him at all costs. Secondly, take care to stay out of Mammon's reach, for his power is most potent when he, when he lay hands on you, so basically you want him at range. Finally, once you've recovered the prism, do not under any circumstances wield it. I need to warn you that the consequences should return to me bearing the charm. That is all. Are you willing? I'm willing. <clears throat> there we go. We got a quest from him. Grab some more water. There's a crystal shrine here. A statue of a, of a, of a book row. I can go here and I'll basically eat the mushroom cider. Sometimes I have a chance to ask the AC citizens to develop a fungal infection. That's cool. There's a human child here, apparently. I know probably that's usually an NPC in like the middle of this grove here, but he's not around apparently, so... Can't trade if he's not here. Alright, I need to go to this guy, basically get the thing. And by the way, this stuff as well. I don't own the bookshelf, so I'll deal with that then. Mare Nuntu. Live and drink, traveler. Welcome to my village. I deal with Kikua, as is spoken in a native, in my, in a native tongue. How may I serve you? You are an about ape. Why do you call it your village? What blah blah. I need to trade this guy, so let's just get this under with. Rift. So, I really need to get the corpus, um, pullers from this guy. I also get this, uh, distillment from this guy as well. These are important, basically, you know, um, things to basically let me know about the world. Sold the honey already, so we won't worry about that.
Let's start selling these manuscripts of gas a little bit. Now, he doesn't have any money, this guy, so... I gotta make up the difference, basically, with, um... My own stuff. Oh yeah, I got these dormant wage droids here to sell. There. Basically gave him an easy trade, or even trade rather. And I'll just look at this. Blah, blah. I guess it's just an informational script here. Alright, what I really need is the Corpus Callus. And this basically is a book that will like, get you a lot of information on like, you know, curing stuff. Namely, I need to clear Glot Rot. So here, on Glot Rot. Glot Rot is an affliction characterized by necrosis of the tongue. Judging by evidence scattered by from patients' accounts, I place the disease's origin in a cavern of Golgotha, where a victim is most likely contracted it from the future spawn of Ogogot. The afflicted patient is below a complaint of soreness in the throat as the tongue tissue begins to swell. Within a week of span, the muscle will soften and start to decompose. The patient will experience severe pain while ingesting food or drink, and may agitate the last of the raw living tissue, causing the mouth to bleed. Over the following few days, the tongue will rot in its entirety, rendering the patient incapable of speech. Town remedies, yuckweed and honey, are sometimes effective in reversing the necrosis if they are administered in the early stages. So if you use that early on, then it's fine. Once the tongue is completely rotted away, however, um, only a scarce um, uber nostrum tonic will cause it to regrow. However, simply injecting the tonic will merely regrow the tongue, which will proceed to rot away once more. The patient must first ingest, ingest a potion called the Flaming Ick. One part cider, one part honey, three parts sap. Alright, so I need honey, sap, and cider, and drank from a flaming mug of, or canteen. Once the patient's mouth is purged of the disease in, in this manner, the uber talk may be administered. So... I have to get myself... A canteen or a mug, put in some cider, honey, and sap. Sap will be the hardest thing to find because I have to go find a, um, a place that sells sap. I'll do a quick, quick check of this guy here. And there's no sap here, so can't get it from this guy. He doesn't have a canteen either, which is not great, but oh well. I would like to get these. So maybe we'll buy those. I'm trying to sell nuggets basically to get this, so... Maybe we'll do that. I don't know what these grenades are, so maybe we'll pick them up to find out what they are. We'll sell off a few more books, I think. Basically, at this point, I'm trying to get rid of like books I don't really need because I have, you know, far too many. There we go. Offer. Um, I didn't get it because he didn't have enough or enough of something for it. Maybe me or him. Oh no. I might not have to have the room basically to pick up stuff. So 
That could be something to watch out for. Let's just buy these quick things for now. Actually, a paper. Don't sell that. That's unfortunately not enough. You know what? Do it. I don't have to worry about this just yet. Let's just go get the cider in the canteen from wherever I can find them. Yep, you've kind of cracked your glot right. Your tongue begins to bleed as the muscle rots away. No. The glot rot is basically something you can attract after you go to um, Golgotha. I stopped traveling by accident there. I didn't mean to do that. By the way, there's dangerous stuff here, like, you know, mad poles. I'm also believing he's not great, so... Let me get out of the water here. Basically, the rivers are pretty, pretty dangerous. Yes, yeah, basically, you know, bad things are happening to my tongue. And your tongue is right away. So I'll need an Uber's nostrum basically to um, throw my tongue back, unfortunately. And I'm not sure there's anything special about this place, so back up. I'm basically looking to see if like any of these are like, you know, homesteads. And yeah, by the way, look at this basically. No, because you basically can't, you know, discuss people with people now. That's what happens when you get got like, rot rot in this game. No more tongue. Oh, I'm gonna need, need something to basically place this into at some point, but la, that's all I can say. You know, I'm tempted to go into, like, you know, a known location where I can, like, you know, place a bench or something and just, like, you know, store my, like, stuff. What's Shubel? More ruins? Looks like there's some trash I left behind here because I didn't have anything to do, you know, to deal with it. Let's get up here. Window Maker Home. Oh, this is one of the quest sites. Okay, that's interesting to go to, but we won't go to it just yet. Um, the Dromac Caravan might have stuff, so let's go here. Okay, I'm harvesting automatically here. 
Let's trade. There's a canteen, so there's my first, you know, thing I basically need. The hard part will be finding the, um, the cider, because I basically have to find, uh, um, a farmstead with, like, apple trees and stuff. It's not the easiest thing to find. You know what, let's just go in here, I'm just going to buy a bunch of water skins. Because I really need them at this point. And we'll go again on a selling spree, I guess. So, oh, these guys will actually take. Notice by the way that my like, you know, my things are going down. As soon as you basically lose like your tongue, all your prices for stuff you basically sell goes way, way down. So, top cover nuggets is basically what I'm going to be using, I guess, to sell stuff now for the next little bit. At least for a little while. Or actually, you know what? I think I'll just basically pay, like, you know, for the canteen for now. And let's just go look around for, you know, the cider. And literally what I'm going to have to do here is, like, go around... And find where I can find cider. Oh, look at that. There's actually a staircase over here. You know, find staircases randomly in the, you know, in the wilderness sometimes. I'll swear this level because, you know, why not? I'll know if it's possible to find anything underground, so I could find perhaps, like, some cider down here. If there's, like, a shrine of some sort around. It has happened to me before. I really should probably do another splunking, you know, experiment at some point to see, like, you know, what else I can find that's new down here. Okay, case bars really aren't worth killing anymore for me. Not giving way, you know, any experience basically for what they're worth. I think I explored this area fairly enough, so let's just go here, go up. Doesn't look like there's anything here, so go this way. Basically, it's just a whole lot of like you know, tracking through the wilderness trying to find this you know stuff. Actually, you know what? This pro I, I I actually thought of something. I might be able to go to the legendary glowfishes up here. I think it's possible these guys had um, cider near the, the shrine, so. That's something you'll check, I think. There we go. Oh, there's the dragonfly. This guy's the friendly one. This guy basically is here. You know, I could kill him. That would apparently make the fewest temple like me more. But 
But let's just see here. I want to look for, um, you know... The other shrine, I think. The other one basically had like the shrine in it, so if I go here, I might be able to find some cider around it. It's an empty bottle, that's not gonna help me. Oh, he's become docile, this guy. Okay, so apparently these guys will lose their, you know, hatred of you after a while, perhaps. See, I, it does create this shrine over here, so... I made him hostile when I did that, but I guess he's now docile to me now. Fortunately, not seeing the... Um, Seeing what I'm, you know, looking after. Did I just get lost? Well, I forgot, found some forgotten ruins. Maybe I'll find some cider here. Let's look around. There's a no worm. There is shrines here, so that's a good sign that there might be some cider around. Do 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 do. And we'll take the books. There'll be an Arcanaut in here, apparently. Well, we know how to get unlost if there's an Arcanaut around. We just talk to him. Now, really what I should be doing is going around these desert canyons, because usually you can find some apple orchards in these places, so... Let's just look around. Yes, everything dies to me easily enough, but... Cider! I want cider! What the? Uh, okay, these guys are non-hostile to me for some reason. I'm not... Well, I don't mind that, I guess. You can talk to these guys, by the way. Ooh! Someone threw acid at me. Eh. I don't worry about the stuff I can pick up because at this point it's really, you know, not great to, you know, stuff snapdraws have. Even like their daggers aren't really worth picking up at this point. Play with Iron Dagger, though. I think I'll pick that up. So I'll level up from killing the thing there. That's fine. Yoink. 
You know, I, I'm sure it's possible to actually make cider if you know, like, the recipe for it. There we go, killed him. And yeah, I was going so damn quick because, you know, nothing really stands my way here. Well, alas, I need to find some cider. Uh, we'll look at that. So, get, look. Yeah, there's some sap. I'll take the sap because, you know, we'll need that for when we get to um, curing glot rot. Yes, this is what it's like to have, you know, to search for stuff randomly somewhere in the wilderness. Alright, I've seen that one apparently, so... Ooh, I took a self injector. Well, that's a good thing about Snapdrop, so you can carry, you know, all random sorts of things. Do, 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 do. Alright, so we got basically halfway through the, you know, the round, round, rounds over here. They're gonna get something from here. Cool, learn some stuff there. Have you had this the entire time? I'm going to try buying this from him. So I might actually need this for the other quest. Specifically the one that... I couldn't figure out how to do. Yep, there it was. Find it. He had it the entire time, that guy. The Warren, he has nothing to trade. I assume this guy has a, you know, a trader somewhere around here. I can't say figure out who the trader might be though. Well, I'm happy about getting that done, so maybe I'll go, you know, just drop this back. Oh, they restocked their inventory, so maybe we'll have uh, cider now. That's always something that could happen, by the way, that could, like, you know, stock up on what I need.
The Williams are engraved in here. There's our self injector. Well, well, let's just go talk to this guy, I guess. I might not be able to complete quest by at this point because I'm unable to communicate with people. It's stuff that sucks about having your, you know, your tongue basically, you know, out. Alright, I do have another idea. I could go over to... Some of these places around here. And maybe they, these guys might have, you know, some apple cider, even though they're pig farmers. I don't think they would, but, you know, it's possible they might. I'm from that guy. Basically, you know, these guys are pig farmers, so it's unlikely that they're going to have it, but... I will go say hi. Well, that's a bust. Back to my search, I guess. Yes, all I need is cider. In the wrong buttons there. Yeah, I know at this point I'm basically just jamming the buttons to try and get this stuff done. Do, 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 do. Just going map to map. Purple. Okay, what is this? Is this another ruin or something else? Doesn't look like a ruin. Ruins don't have doors like this. Uh, I just killed a human. That was not intentional, but okay. We, um. Probably have to wire into some place where people are hostile. Keep looking around, maybe I'll find cider here, who knows. Oh, sound like I'm hostile there. I mean, why am I not moving? No cider. I feel like that mire in the flood tunnel. No Jasper. No Jasper. No Jasper. Oh, fire feels not where I want to go. You know, this still has a lot of stuff in it. I might just like, you know, trek up there to see if I can, you know, cure the glot rot. I'll go through a few maps to see if I can find the, um, the cider I need. Shotgunner.
Ah, oh, it's nice. We killed that guy immediately. Ah, you know what? Let's just get out of here. Uh oh, I'm dying at first. That means I ran out of water? Yeah, it's possible I run out of water, I guess. My water being putrid for some reason. When did that happen? You know, I'll be very interested to die of water. I might be because of my um my inability to like, you know, drink, but I don't think that'd be it. I'm scaring some stuff apparently. Yeah, I'm dying at first by the way. When you die at first, you basically dehydrate and slowly lose, lose XP, so... Um, I need to get something to drink. No cider. Now why did my stuff basically rot like that, I wonder? That's kind of an issue. And of course, this stuff isn't worth anything to me, so... All my my uh, money just went down the drain, basically. Right, let's just uh, pour this on the ground. I need to sell stuff to get some, you know, something to drink, so let's do that right now. And there we go. I'm no longer basically dehydrated anymore. I wonder what caused my, like, you know, water to get, you know, putrid like this. It's a bit of an issue. Okay, what I'm going to do at this point is to start dropping out the water so I can have access to all my, like, you know, uh, water skins. This is probably another good reason to basically stash my, my items somewhere, like in a bank type of area, just so that I don't have to worry about stuff like this happening. I don't know what this caused, you know, caused this, but it happened that, you know, all this stuff basically putrefied. I'll do this a few more times. Whoops. I have to drop this out a little bit more. So what I'll have to do at this point is sell off some copper nuggets, I think, just to have a little bit of, like, you know, um... Just a little bit of, like, water to drink, what I need to. Let's trade, I'm just going to sell him off a bunch of my, uh, copper nuggets. All right, so that's done. Oh, there he is. There's the trophy hunter. 
Apparently he's got a slender sniper rifle, this guy, interestingly enough. All right, well, let's see here. Let's go looking around, I guess, for more possible farmsteads. Basically, in the hills, you'll find the farmsteads. And I found something here. I'm going to laugh I just found, like, you know, another pig farm. Seriously, I keep finding pig farms. I need more than pig farms. What's getting killed over here? Nah, uh, is my character like you know under some effect? I wonder. Yeah, I just got clot right, okay. I was wondering if perhaps I basically had, you know. Some sort of other, like, negative effect on me that I didn't notice, but, you know. Do, do, do. Just looking around for, you know, Snapjaws here. You know, I don't really care about fighting about these guys anymore because I don't get experience for it. Uh oh. I do, if they're going to throw stuff at me, that might be uh, dangerous. So I'll have to look around at stuff. They might have thrown something at me right there, these guys, but whatever. We. Go up. off a few of these guys. Push on. I am hurting myself. Why? Why? Why are they all pigs? Yeah, she'll basically find lots of these, like, places out in like, the wilderness, but usually there's going to be some apple ciders in, um, out of these guys, so... I find it very odd that I'm not finding, like, you know, anything but pig guys. There's a snapdrop fort. I don't care. Actually, I do care. They might have, like, you know, loot in here. Oh, this guy's getting steel, so we got better stuff in the snap jaws. Oh, there's a unique in here. Apparently, I just made friends with someone. And this guy has some nice stuff in here, so let's get this, get that, get this, get that. A 
a star apple. I doubt there's any siren here, but you know. Why not at this point? Kill it all, move on. Yes! Alright, a star apple farm is just what I need. These guys usually will have cider. It won't be enough to cure my glot rut, like, you know, restore my tongue, but at least I'll cure the glot rut part. Um, yeah, there's a the cider right there. So we'll buy this. That's a lot to basically pay for, because, you know, I basically, um, Sorry, man. I want it. I don't feel like paying for it. Yeah, I don't have to pay, by the way. I just could just kill everything. That does work. There's a maiden over there, by the way, so... There's that, I guess. Alright, if I remember correctly, you basically, like, you know, follow the recipe for burning stuff, you just have to set fire. And, let's just follow the, uh, thing here. So, one part cider, one part honey, three parts sap, and drank from a flaming macro canteen. All right, one part uh, cider. So we have to take the canteen and put all this stuff in it, right? So, one cider. And I believe it said one part honey, three parts sap. But it's going to double check. One part honey, three parts sap. And then three parts sap go in it. You know what? Yes. Um, no. I'm gonna drink this. Let's get rid of it, because I'm not sure I did it right, so... Pour one of this in there. So one jam of cider is in there. Honey cider. That's that's right. Now we just have to put in three parts of uh, sap. Spicy honey sap. Now I gotta set that on fire. Yeah, I basically dropped on the floor that cider, unfortunately, so that happened. Ah, picked up weird artifact. Let's look at it. And it's a chain pistol. Assemble it. Now I can build chain pistols. I gotta drop this on the fire. There we go. Get. Good 
drink. So it's spicy and delicious. And I'll say delicious, it's say it's sweet to the taste, blah, blah. Now I'm going to try to fight the fire so I don't lose my canteen here. Basically, I want to keep the canteen so I can use this if, you know, I get this again. So, it's now just a, a regular canteen. My character should have one active effect, this uh, springing now. So, once I basically find, like, you know, an uber nostrum, I'll be able to basically, you know, rectify my tongue situation. Sucks for this farmer, though. But he was charging far too much. And you know what? Just because I felt like it. Everything had, had to die. Everything. Alright, I need to find myself an Uber Nostrum. And I might be able to find one to 6 days still, so I'm just going to go up here anyways. Uh, yes. Why am I dying of thirst again? Do I run out of water again? You know, I'm wondering if, like, if water turns putrid, if, like, you know, you, um... Shoot, there's no, uh... Crater here, but... I got a tree or something. Uh, this guy does have money apparently, so. Alright, so apparently my water is turning putrid, I guess, whenever I, like, you know, take sips from it. I don't know why that's the case, but okay. It might be a stuff I'm carrying, but I don't think that would cause it, so... Gonna ditch that stuff right there. I can sit down in the armchair. Cool. I just want to get myself up to like you know. Be capable of um, getting to uh, where I need to go up there. I need to find myself an Uber size and regrow re my um, my tongue. So I have to wonder what is causing my like you know um, issue with like you know stuff basically you know just going bad real quick. Oh, I should probably note something. When you basically have no tongue, I do believe that makes it so that... I'm just going to do a quick check here. I do have a drink of fresh water here. I do believe that like, your ego goes down a whole lot when you basically have like you know problems with your, with your tongue. Like being missing. I'm just gonna get a little bit more water so I can like you know make the journey properly. I'm gonna sell this dagger. Actually, I'll sell one of these things down here. Okay, what I'm gonna do at this point is sort of like make sure this water lasts. I want to basically put like a fresh water in each of my like empty water skins. So four to another container. 
four into another container. This way, like, you know, if it's just like, you know, Nothing that I can fix with this. I'll be able to make it there without, you know, losing up all the water and dying. By the way, this would be where the Uber and Austrian you guys get from Joppa for, like, the quest would be very, very good. Because you basically wouldn't have to worry so much about, um... Wow, I'm gonna die right here. Well, this is it for my character. He died at first. There's what Glot Rock can basically do to you. You wanna be very careful of it. That's fine. I basically got to show off quite a bit for his journey, I guess. Well, that's gonna be enough for Case of Cut. I hope you guys enjoyed this series. And, well, maybe we'll come back to it, but I probably won't. It's a cool game, but one day I think I've played enough. So for now, take care. And I'll see you in our roguelike.